Hi there, well I've got another lovely engine to share with you today. Now if you've watched my channel before you'll know probably that I'm a big fan of, of English made uh, model engines and Irvine is a real favourite of mine, I fly a few different Irvine engines. But the one I've got today is a little bit different. This is an Irvine 20 diesel engine. Now I picked this up just recently, I've never had one before, I've never even seen one run. So I mean I've got the 20 uh, glow engine and 25 glow engine but never the, uh, the diesel. So as I said really excited to get this in the test stand and see how it runs. So let's take a quick closer look. Now we can see this is very typically an Irvine engine, one of the later Irvine engines with the, uh, the square or rectangular bypass port and we can see it's interesting that even though this is an Irvine 20 the size designation that should be here has been machined out and as I understand it they ran out of the 20 cases because they stopped making the 20 in the glow and so they didn't have any more produced and what they started to do was use the glow 25 side ca size cases which were identical to these except for a little bit of machining obviously for a bigger cylinder and this is a 25 glow case that was used and you can see you've got the size designation there and this is the same case prior to machining and they've just machined out that so it's still an Irvine 20 diesel but what we can tell is it's one of the very later later ones or last ones produced where like I say they'd run out of the 20 size cases now compression screw on the top instead of a, a glow plug as you'd expect with a diesel we've got a grub screw in here which you can lock off the uh, compression screw we've got a nice aluminium uh, anodized carb and if we look on this side we've got Irvine upon one of the uh, the bypass channels there as well and I mean these are lovely looking engines I'm dead excited to get this and to see how it runs. Now it's interesting if we look at the uh, carb, uh, sorry, the muffler or the silencer, we've got the typical sized Irvine silencer for this engine but it hasn't got a nipple on it, a, um, a pressure nipple for pressurising the tank. It's just got a blank bolt in there. Now the reason being is that with diesels you do not pressurize the tank with exhaust gases. When diesel burns it produces water, the paraffin in it produces quite a lot of water and the last thing you want to be doing is pushing that through from the exhaust into your tank to pressurize it because you get tank, uh, water in your tank and you're going to have problems. Let's see if we can get this lovely engine singing. So giving a little bit into the Venturi just to loosen it up although to be honest it's, it's well loose anyway if we draw the fuel through just open that a little bit throttles open I mean it feels and sounds absolutely lovely <laughs> Let's just hope it runs. I must admit, I do like diesels without a silencer, just because you can uh, you can just port prime it, and uh, I find that's quite a good thing to do.
absolutely lovely and it throttled really nice. There was a little bit of fuel just coming out of the Venturi on uh, tick over so it, or idle. So it might be just a little bit rich on that bottom end, but that was lovely. Well, this ran impeccably, as you would expect from an Irvine engine. Lovely top speed, just over 9,000 RPM, nice and steady. We brought the tick over down on this carb to what, 4,000, and it was kind of happy around there for a little bit but it did start to just spit fuel out of the Venturi a little bit and I think it's probably just a little bit rich and just bogging down. But it's a lovely, I mean it looks nice, it ran really nice. My only uh, sort of caveat to that is I quite like being able to port prime um, a, a, an engine by just squirting a little bit on top of the piston. You can't do that with the silencer and this isn't the easiest of diesels I've had to start. So it took a little bit of flicking and uh, to get it right. But as I say, it ran really, really nice. Another great diesel engine in the test stand. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I've really enjoyed running it. I'm not sure about whether I'll ever get this in a model. I need to have a think about what I've got. I've got a few things in mind, but anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.